dear students welcome to practical biochemistry the topic is estimation of serum urea by berthelot method estimation of serum urea urea is produced by liver on catabolism of amino acid nitrogen and excreted by the kidney thus following factors affect plasma urea concentration it includes protein metabolism liver and kidney now what is the principle of this berthelot method in the presence of urease enzyme urea converted to ammonia and carbon dioxide now this ammonia reacts with hypochlorite and salicylates in the presence of enzyme sodium nitroprusside to give dicarboxy endorphinol it's a green color compound the intensity of this green color compound measured at 620 nanometer wavelength colorimetrically here the intensity of color is directly proportional to the amount of urea that is present in the sample so that is the principle of berthelot method now the reagents required for this test urea reagent a that contains urease enzyme urea reagent b that contains hypochlorite that is the color developer and the urea standard solution now the procedure part take three test tubes label test tubes b for blank s for standard and t for test now add 500 microliter reagent a in all three test tubes blank standard and test add 5 microliter distilled water in the blank test tube add urea standard 5 microliter in standard test tube add serum or plasma sample 5 microliter in the test test tube mix well and incubate for 5 minutes after incubation for 5 minute at room temperature add reagent b in all three test tube blank standard and test 500 microliter mix well all three test tubes incubate again at room temperature for 5 minute and read absorbent at 620 nanometer now here it's the procedure take three test tubes label test tubes b for blank s for standard and t for test now add 500 microliter reagent a in blank standard and test test tube add 5 microliter distilled water in blank test tube add 5 microliter urea standard in standard test tube add 5 microliter serum or plasma in test test tube Now mix well all three test tubes and incubate at room temperature for 5 minute. After 5 minute add reagent B 500 microliter in all three test tubes. Blank standard and test. mix well all test tubes and incubate again at room temperature for 5 minutes after 5 minutes read absorbent colorimetrically at wavelength of 620 nanometer now take your readings
here it's the observation audio blank 0.04 audio of standard 0.16 audio of test 0.22 now the calculation part audio of test minus audio blank divided by audio of standard minus audio of blank multiplied by concentration of standard 0.22 minus 0.04 divided by 0.16 minus 0.04 multiplied by 40 so it's is equal to 0.18 divided by 0.12 multiplied by 40 is equal to 60 milligram per dl the concentration of urea in given sample is 60 milligram per dl you can calculate blood urea nitrogen from this value blood urea nitrogen is equal to blood urea milligram per dl divided by 2.14 so here we got the value of blood urea that is 60 milligram per dl divided by 2.14 is equal to 28 milligram per dl so that is the value of blood urea nitrogen now the concentration of urea in given sample is 60 milligram per dl blood urea nitrogen is 28 milligram per dl now the reference range urea 15 to 45 milligram per dl and blood urea nitrogen 10 to 18 milligram per dl so in both this condition the concentration of urea and blood urea nitrogen has been increased this condition it is known as uremia now here it's the interpretation part uremia that is increase in the blood urea physiological and pathological variations in which the blood urea level is increased physiological variation this includes it's higher in men than women varies with amount of protein in the diet it is low in early pregnancy probably due to hemodilution around 10 percentage pathological variation this includes pre-renal renal and post renal causes now the first one pre-renal uremia decrease in blood volume for example in conditions of diarrhea vomiting burns that leads to decrease in plasma volume so that there is decrease in the blood pressure so that there is decrease in the effective filtration rate in the glomeruli hence there is decrease in the filtration of the urea so that the urea concentration has been increased in the blood now the second it is increased tissue protein breakdown in conditions of diabetes mellitus cancer fever and in different types of muscle wasting conditions hematemesis that means bleeding within the gastrointestinal tract cardiac failure and circulatory collapse due to other causes so all these are the causes of pre-renal uremia now the renal causes of uremia this includes nephritis acute glomerulonephritis renal tuberculosis mercurial poisoning now the post renal causes of uremia this includes enlarged prostate stone in the urinary tract stricture of the urethra tumors of the bladder that affecting the ureteric junction now the conditions in which blood urea level has been decreased this includes pregnancy intravenous infusions low antidiuretic hormone secretion low protein intake severe liver disease and inborn errors of urea cycle if you have values of urinary urea and 24 hour urine output then you can calculate the urea clearance the formula for urea clearance is equal to u multiplied by v divided by p that means urinary urea multiplied by 24 hour urine output divided by plasma or serum urea the normal value of urea clearance is on average 75 ml per minute if you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends group batch and colleagues thank you so much everyone